What is going on beautiful people? This is Roy and welcome to another brand new unboxing video on this channel. So today in this video, we're going to review this TP-Link AC750 dual band wireless router Acer C20 which is the cheapest, cheapest dual band router available on the market. So today in this video, we're going to unbox this box, find out what's inside and then find out how this router performs. Is this router worth its money? So guys, let's get started. Let's find out how this router performs. So now front of the box, as you see here, we have 300 Mbps plus 433 Mbps. This is 300 Mbps for 2.4 GHz and 444 Mbps for 5 GHz. Total 733 Mbps. Dual band Wi-Fi, superior coverage, easy setup, okay. On the back we have, so on the back this is the information I just told you guys. Uh, here we have the price, MRP is 2399 but you can get it around 1200 rupees from amazon.in I bought it around 1200 indian rupees this is the router itself and it has one WAN port and four LAN port also TP-Link provides two years of warranty so let's cut it open wow so this is the router itself, it's completely black, got three antennas, and we get a user manual installation guide and public license and ethernet cable. and a 9 volts power adapter so that's it inside the box so the router front panel looks amazing i love this look guys kind of a pattern glossy pattern this is glossy finish i love the build quality and it's made out of good quality plastic guys this is the back side and we have three total three antennas this is power on off button this is power input reset button wi-fi wps and just you can turn on off Wi-Fi probably and WPS WAN port for LAN port and all of these LAN ports are supports only 100 Mbps so if you guys are looking for gigabyte Ethernet then you have to go for higher model another thing is that there is no USB port so you will not able to hook up your printer or pen drive to share files over internet so that's the router pretty good first information now power it up and see how the Wi-Fi perform Plug the 9 volt input into the power port. This is the WAN port. And connect it. Now let's turn it on. Turned on. Now, Wi Fi setup process is pretty simple, guys. So you can set up it using a LAN port. So connect it with your PC. But uh, I don't have a PC with LAN port right now. So I'm going to configure it using my mobile. So open your mobile phone. Go to your Wi-Fi and settings. Then this is the TP link. Connect it. And here we have on the below we have the password 699. So now TP link is connected. To configure the router, you can download this TP link tether app. Open it and it automatically searches your router. So now it's find the router. Now the starter is connected to internet using DHCP. So if you set it up with a manual or a static IP, you can set it up with a static IP, PPO, whatever you want. So just change the set according to your setup. So it's now connected. Let's test the speed. Speed test. I have a 45 Mbps connection, so the speed will not be more than that. So it's getting 47. So that's pretty good speed. Next we are going to test the Wi-Fi signal range, this is 2.4 GHz and near router around 30 dB. Next room after on all, the signal drop only 15 dB. So I decided to go to upstairs. I walk near about 50 feet away from my router room and there is three break wall between router room and this room. And here signal is going to drop to minus 80 dB and I would say like it's a pretty good signal. So open the speed test and test it how much speed we are getting here 
so it's around uh, 3 4 mb 5 mbps not bad this much distance and if you guys put this router in middle of a house it easily able to cover a 1600 square feet house without any problem next we're going to test the 5 gigahertz near router it's 100 percent signal near about 25 feet away from the router the signal is still drop to 40 db also the wi-fi signal penetrating two brick walls after three brick walls and near about 40 meter away from the router the signals drop drastically around 90 db minus 90 db let's check the speed now here we are getting near about 6 mbps download speed and upload speed is around 2 mbps next we're going to test this tp-link src20 router maximum speed over wi-fi lan so this is my phone poco a phone which is connected to this router and my macbook pro here it is my macbook pro this is also connected with this router now uh, this is my phone on a file from my phone this one so what i'm going to do i'm going to download it on this laptop and find out the e speed so let's download it so now as you see guys this is connected to this is connected to 2.4 gigahertz now first we're going to test that 2.4 gigahertz e speed let's download on file this gopalpur file download so on 2.4 gigahertz the maximum e speed we are getting is 6.78 near or 7 mbps on average near about 6.5 megabyte per second so if you calculate it it's near about 50 mbps so now next we're going to connect to the 5 gigahertz now 5 gigahertz is connected now download this file let's check the speed now on 5 gigahertz we are getting around 11.3 mbps now about two times the speed so a little bit of speed drop then gained 10.6 mbps so around 11 mbps so near about 88 megabit per second so guys that's the e speed test of this tp link archer c20 dual band wi-fi router so e speed i think as average is decent at this price point now price in amazon.com is 1438 rupees so if you want to check it i will give a link in the description below i use this router continuously for three days as my main router and i haven't faced any kind of problem the wi-fi speed is good the wi-fi range is decent it's better than my my wi-fi range is better than my asus router which i bought around 10,000 rupees the wi-fi range is better so if you don't need a huge bandwidth with multiple devices this router is good enough i uh, hope they had a usb port that will be awesome but uh, as you see guys there is no usb port that's the drawback power consumption is only 2 watt really low power consuming router so i definitely recommend you as an entry level router so guys uh, thanks for watching this video and if you guys have any question any suggestion let me know in the comment section below i definitely answer every one of your question and if you guys want me to review anything let me know in the comment section below I try to do that for you guys. So guys, that's it for today. Meet you too on my next video. Till then, bye-bye and stay tuned.